lamps because it's so hard. This one is about as small as I want to have the opening because I want to be able to get my hand in there. So uh, that one's too small. This one's too big, and this one's just, just right. right. Compartments. Yeah. And you do not have to have as, I mean, I've been making lamps for 30 years, so I have a lot of parts. You don't have lots of parts, but I love them. It's mm. like beads or something. Mm. Okay, so the, the plug is where I start, the very end, and the plug has two parts. Uh, there we go. So it has top and the bottom. And then this. it is so and less it's expensive. Lighting wire. Yep, it's called lighting wire. And you can see I have different ones, you okay. know, the dark, the light, and I just choose which I feel is the best. And then I've got brown, and I re regretted getting the deep brown because I just don't like it. This one I like probably the best. Yeah, that's nice. And then when I do, this came out, this piece came out of the May Bruno firing. Ah, As I take this and I do two arms length worth of wire. I, and for me, that's about right. It's a little long, but I can always cut it off. Most arms lengths are a yard. In the fabric space. That's, that's Let's, a yard you have have no arms. Well, you, know. you just feed it in here, all the way down, across. Put it on here. Nice. Got your plug. That's the side. Okay. Wow. So you start at the bottom, put your plug on. And that's it. Okay. It doesn't work. Come on. I had a panic moment where I didn't think I put a hole in it. I'm like, where's the hole? <laughs> okay. Then I well, that's where the, the smoothing of that hole is really great mm -hmm. and important because Very. you start pulling it out and it shaves yep. off. Mm -hmm. So I just I bring it out here. What I do at home when I do these is I put all the pieces for each lamp out. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to need is crossbars. And I'm out of my favorite crossbars, so I have these crossbars. I'm not going to cheat and use the ones that I did yesterday. Are those the same color as your favorite ones? They or? are, but the, the, they don't have the screws in them. I don't use the screws for a fancier lamp that have a big uh, grounding wire, and I don't use Look at that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, so far, what you need is a vase cap, a plug, which has two parts, and a wire and a lamp babe. All right, so I've got my crossbars, threaded rod, a couple nuts, and then I have my variables. What is gonna look nice? At this point, I have a lot of these brass ones that are corroded. I would use those underneath. I don't wanna use those where um, those are washers, they can be basically. seen. Washers, yeah, those are washers. And then I have a lot of spacers that you can use from all different sizes. Mm -hmm. And then this is a harp. Oh, that's the harp. So this, ah. some of the smaller ones you can just, if it, like these all take a harp. All these lampshades take a harp. Mm -hmm. But you can get the lampshades with the little squeezy thing that you just can put the socket Hop and the bulb. Yeah. But this is the harp. And very nice. And look at these spacers. These are little spacers. Do what? I was just wondering if they have finials in here. They have so. tons <laughs> of finials. Tons. Yeah, they they have. have a ton of finials. So now we're we're gotten up to cross vase cap, crossbars, threaded rod, and then washers of different types and makes, spacers. What are we missing, guys? Who knows what we're missing? The little a electrical socket. socket. Yeah. Socket. So they come like this, and you can use them like they come as a set. 
so it has the two parts, or you can buy them, it's less expensive, I'm sorry, to buy them in three parts. So the sleeve fits on here in this. But I found after a while that I just get tired of fussing with them and I will just do a set. So this is the set. Is that a, a three-way? This one is a three-way. At least it's labeled three-way. We'll find out when we light her up. So then we have a socket. Okay, so what are we missing here? It has three parts. So the socket has three parts. These are variables. Okay, we've got that. So that's what we need. Screwdriver, a pair of really good scissors that are going to be fine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the crossbars and put the threaded rod in here. You can slow me down, ask questions, whatever you want. Um, a lot of it is my estimating how high the socket is going to be and how much room I need here. I put two of them on because I found that if I did just one, they, they didn't last as long. They weren't as stable. Just do them. I'm gonna. I think about halfway is going to be enough. Put the wire in. Turn this sideways, and that's going to be my inside. Kathy, can you come hold this for a minute? For I'll me? be happy. I was going to say, does that go all the way through? Right. Okay. I just have a problem. It's bothering me that I cut this at an angle. Okay. <laughs> Not a problem. That was bothering me. Okay, so then the next really important part, this needs to be level, okay? <clears throat> so then I, and, it, and sometimes you think, how can you do this all by yourself? It's just a matter of um, thinking, what are you going to do when you have that little bit here? You need a little bit of a nail. It, and now I have to estimate, is this going to be enough? of the threaded rod mm -hmm. and I don't think it is because I have to get mm -hmm. this socket on here and I have to get this, this on here yeah. when I put this on I've got to first I've got to have a, a nut a pretty nut here and I need a nut on top of this too so when you think of all that then this isn't enough room So you gonna, just move them down. I just move them down. So this is so much easier than getting it all together, and you cannot believe how many I've taken apart. So when you get it the right length, can we measure it? Sure. Except it's going to be variable with every lamp. Sure. I mean, you're welcome mm -hmm. to measure it, but it's going to be a variable with every lamp. I would rather have it be a little too tall because I can put. That's what my spacers are for. Mm -hmm. I can put spacers in. So whoever started making lamp parts started thinking, what else do they need? Okay. So I'm gonna take this off. And when I think I've got it just about right, then I'm gonna put my ugly nut on the bottom. So I'm gonna put a nut here to hold it because these, through the years, they will change and they will shift with movement. So we, we all get our lamps made. Mm -hmm. We pay to have another workshop that we admire them. Mm -hmm. I hear ya. After, after you sit down and like, I, what I do is I make three to six lamp bases and then just sit and do lamp after lamp. And after you do the second one, you're like, woohoo, I can do this. Now your hand building lamp, the only thing, this is it. Mm -hmm. That's the only yeah. thing, Teresa, yeah. is the rim. And stability. That it be even, 
because if it's not round, completely symmetrical, mm -hmm. and you don't want this too big, okay? Mm -hmm. But you need a, a very definite place for it to mm -hmm. sit. Okay, lamp. Okay, so now got the plug, the wire, threaded rod, two of these little babies, and two nuts. These are really important mm -hmm. for longevity. And um, I can't see, it's such an e they're pennies, probably not even a penny each for those nuts. Washers, I guess they're called. No, they're nuts. <laughs> okay, they're nuts. There you go. So now, see, I've got maybe an inch and a half. That looks great to me. So now I'm going to use, I have a choice. The top of my vase cap has like a half inch round on the top. This would look awkward, I think, because it would overlap. This one is too small. So I'm going to go back to my treasure trove and find one that's just about the same size. If you lose a grip on your threaded rod, it really is important to go back and take it apart and redo it so you have a nice grip. So you've got it, like you can pick it up by there, okay? Then when you get it to the point that you can do this, And I can pretty much say with an inch and a half, I think it's about an inch and a half at the top, you wanted me to measure this, Harriet? Mm -hmm. It's an inch. It's exactly an inch. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So then I'm really going to ratchet this down. I have ratcheted them down too tight. You can do that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that. That's good. I'm going to pass it around so everybody can feel it. Now. So we've got, we've got this tightened down. This is really important. I'm going to talk a little bit now about the bottom. This bottom is nice, and it's fairly smooth. And I could grind it so it would be smooth. And my signature's here, but what I, but what I would normally do is I would clean this little bit of kiln wash off here, and I would either put three cork or felt mm -hmm. pieces mm -hmm. here yep. because that tiny bit that you do means so much to the person who's going to use this lamp. Yeah. If you do this and it's cra it cracks, or you could cut felt, mm -hmm. uh, a round of felt, and put it on the yeah. bottom. I don't like that quite as well, just simply it, it covers up. Too much. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and when you think that this is nothing but, you know, wood ash, it just... No, it's just so anyway, <laughs> okay, so now we have to think about the socket. This is the part of the socket that you're going to tighten down. You, the tools that you need basically for this is a good pair of pliers, a nice pair of scissors that are sharp that you can really cut uh, small things with, and I'll show you that in a minute. Instead of the scissors, you could have uh, the strippers, you're still going to need scissors. So I choose to, you know, I now don't even use the strippers. And then a really good small Phillips head screwdriver. Mm -hmm. I don't use any power tools in any of this. I don't see any reason to. There's, um, there's a little screw at the bottom of this. And you just have to be careful not to unscrew it too much. Just unscrew it a little bit. This, this screw, if you get a socket that doesn't have the screw and you have an option of paying a tiny bit more and getting the screw, do that because this tightens it against the threaded rod. That is an extra, if you ever had a lamp where the socket was mm -hmm. loose, this will, that will stop that, okay? So then I, I just do this at the beginning, I loosen. So you can see I've got a lot of tools, but I, I pretty much use the same ones over and over. I just loosen it a tiny bit just to get my bearings. So what, what has to go on here is this, but there's only like a, a third of an inch of thread there, okay? So it's gonna come here. That's not gonna look nice. So I also have 
this that has to go on here, two of these that have to go on here. So I'm going to look at a spacer. Obviously, that's not a good spacer. And so I'm going to look at putting this spacer on. The spacer doesn't isn't threaded. It's just loose. Okay. And then I have a choice of putting this on top. But this is loose too. So I'm going to choose to use the pretty one. The pretty Okay. So I'm going to put this on next. And as you see, each of this is going to take up a bit of that threaded rod. Tighten it. Put this on. Another one of these. Then when you start to tighten the harp up, you need to look and see where the hole is. Because you don't the hole right now for the no, you don't want for it. the wire is here. So you want the harp to be where's the hole where it is? Here. Okay. So this is the first consideration for the harp. The harp base. And Dennis never did any of these for me. I always, he never had an interest in doing these. I thought he would. I hoped he would. <laughs> <laughs> but he never did. Okay, I can see why. So, um, all right, so now I'm going to put the base of the socket. The socket comes in three parts. There's the base, the socket that is electrified, and the slip that goes over top. Okay. And I've loosened this little screw on the side. I'm not keen that the color is different. I'm not keen about that, but there's not much I can do. I have a, I'll, I'll pass around my expensive socket. I have one left. Sometimes if I make special lamps, I'll use a really expensive socket. Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Yeah. All right, so then you gotta remember, tighten this. Mm. That is a really nice yeah. one. I made for our new anniversary one year. Yeah, I made uh, one for Den with that, and I had a glass, a blue glass finial that I put on the top of it. <laughs> he was happy with that. Okay, so that so now we've got all of this together. Now we're going to now we're up to the wire. It has part. a line. Mm -hmm. It has a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the middle, and positive and the negative. Yeah. Cut the line. So. I'm just going to cut it, just snip it. Once you get about half inch in, then you can just pull it. I find it's easier to pull mm -hmm. because then mm -hmm. I'm not afraid I'm cutting, I'm cutting into it. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I I will go a little overboard and do probably two inches to start with. Okay. And then I'm going to open these up almost as far as they'll go. They won't come all the way out, but I open them up. And then I used to use the wire strippers, but I find them awkward, and I'll do one of the wires with, with this. And you just mark it, and then strip it. Okay, and there's your wires. And then you take it, and you really, really don't want to be sloppy with this part, and you twist it. So you just twist it really tight all the way down. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Obviously, I don't need this much, but for demonstration purposes, I, wanna, I just want you to be very sure. If you've cut into the wire, that's why I have such long wire. Mm -hmm. If uh -huh. you've cut into it, snip it off. Start again. Okay, great. But what I do is I just take usually my and I just and I I saw my teeth back and forth at the same time. Seems to help. Okay. 
Now, if you look at this, this is the one I did with the stripper. Mm -hmm. Can you see that there's a wire there? Yes. Okay. And this is the one I did with the scissors. I have more control, I feel, with the scissors. scissors. Yeah. One wire isn't going to be a problem, but, you, you know, know, I just, I, you know, through. I just feel like I have much more control. So again, twist the wires on both sides. And then I'm basically going to cut these. I, I made them extra long just to show you guys how important it is to really twist it. You don't, this will make your life so much easier mm -hmm. when you wire lamps. Twist really tightly. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these because I only really need about a little bit more than an inch. And I measure them. Twist it again on the very edge. And then I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to see if it's out far enough, which it's not. There's a little notch that you put the wire into. And you snug it up as close to the plastic as you can go and twist it around. Having a little bit of a fingernail is good, but you can also use the screwdriver. You want it in there as much as it will go, and then I tighten it. Okay, which direction did I go, guys? Of course. <laughs> yeah. And then the same thing with this one. Do you always Snug do the it. silver first? I d matter? just because I come to it first. Okay. Yeah, I, I do. I guess I I hadn't problem, even thought okay. about that. I have no and it idea. doesn't matter. W yeah, which side goes in mm. first? I've not. <coughs> At least that's what I was told. So then Shall the I? slip. <laughs> yes, the slip. And there are several different uh, socket slips. You just want. That's one of the nice things about buying them in sets. You know that they'll that put the right fit. slip, mm -hmm. the right fit. So the slip slips on. It goes down. Slips down. Oh, and beautiful. then I just use the weight of this and rock it back and forth and get it on there. And it should snap. And it snapped, so there we go. Got her. <sighs> Hyperventilating time. Wow. It's beautiful. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? What's missing? What's missing? The harp. 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 The to get in, but I have tried putting them together in different orders, and for me, this is the right order. So, oops, slide down. Beautiful, oh, Thank you. It's just getting it in there yeah. just right. This was a good idea to do this. Well, again, are you going to make lamps in a couple months, yeah. maybe before Pottery Market, if anybody's got lamps? Yeah. No. Anybody have lamps but for Pottery Market? No. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to try a couple. I'm not going to worry about it too much. That will go in. I want to see it. Yeah. Yes. It's so cute. So here are a bunch. I, for a while, when I was making lots of lamps and selling lots of them, I just thought these were the cutest little finials. And they were inexpensive. They, they're just kind of classic and cute. But there's all kinds of them that you can get. And you can spend $30 on a finial or whatever. There's, there's some really nice ones. That one's tarnished. You know, this... You put a, a glass bead in the top. Oh, that's good. Uh, it's nice. Uh, maybe you could see more of the lamp, but yeah. I don't know. Oh, I like that. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. not bad. This is a shorter. Probably ten more shades. Yeah, I, I just couldn't bring them all. No. 
No, we like that. The best one. of the lot yeah. is the curvy. So oh, she has another. Oh, no, more. Wait, wait, wait. It's going to be shorter. Wow. No. No, sure. no, best of the lot is the tall one. If you. I could change the harp. Yes. You could. You could I lower could it. change the harp yeah. either way. Yeah. Which is my only variable at this point. Yeah. Right. Because, mm -hmm. yep, actually there's another variable and I'm not going to take it all apart to do it, you know, to change everything here. Right. Okay. So this goes on top then the finial. And then the moment of truth. Oh, oh look at that. that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Exciting. It was. Yeah. It made my day. Yeah.